Hello once again, it's me Zara. Welcome back to Zara's Kitchen. Um, I hope you've all been good. Today I'll just be making the basic Nigerian um, fried rice. Very, very basic. These days I'll just be doing a lot of basic videos before we go into is it intermediate. <laughs> um, so in order to make the basic Nigerian fried rice, all you need is just mixed veg. If you can't get mixed veg, you can actually use um, fresh vegetables, you know, um, it's fine. Onions, um, shredded onions. I shredded these onions myself and I'll, I'll probably upload a video of how I do this and preserving the shredded onions. Um, bay leaves um, for some aroma. Um, I, you don't necessarily need um, the bonnet pepper, but like I always say, you're a raspberry love um, pepper, so I'll be using one bonnet pepper. Um, I'll be using garlic as part of my seasoning, curry, salt to taste, jumbo as part of my seasoning as well. And um, like you all know, I love my clothes, so I'll be using clothes as well um, and thyme. And of course, olive oil to go with it and the rice. Today I'll be making just four cups of rice and this is what I have used for the measurement. Um, just this, this cup. First, you have to wash the rice thoroughly because this is a boiled long grain rice. So after rinsing the rice, what you do is you need to boil the rice. You know, you need you need to boil it properly and let it be um, so soft. Well, not so soft, not mushy soft, but you know, so that it comes out singly. Um, so what I do is, I you can actually cook this on the stove or anywhere. Um, you can use rice cooker; it's absolutely fine. But what I use is, I usually use either rice cooker or my pressure cooker. And and my pressure cooker, as you can see, um, it's Pressure King Pro, and it only takes me about twelve minutes to actually prepare the rice. I will be introducing her to you um, sometime in the future, um, if I can actually make a video of, um, of her. She's one of my kitchen partners. So at this point, into the rice, I would add um, half teaspoon of my seasoning, half teaspoon of salt. Let's add some thyme to it. Not a lot, um, and you know, just a bit of garlic. Add some cloves to it as well. And at this point is when I also add the bay leaves. It would only take just 12 minutes for it to come to, to boil. So heat the pan a little and add one quarter of a cup of um, olive oil. And then you add um, your diced ingredients. So here I've got diced onions, diced red, um, red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper and you know scotch bonnet pepper so i'll add all this to it you know what the most important thing is when you actually do this with fresh um vegetables it's actually really nice and then i would add my ready mixed vegetable and, and at this point remember that you have added some salt to the rice as well as um, or the seasoning so you just have to be careful so with this I'll be adding um, another half teaspoon full of whole another half teaspoon full of seasoning and I'll be adding some thyme to it as well you know just preference I always say preference preference so <laughs> the curry I'll be adding a little less than you know um, half a teaspoon because it does give it color I have not added any um, anything to it this is very very basic this is just for when you feel like having fried rice you can't be bothered going out you do not have enough ingredients or just for fun another interesting thing is you, you must have been wondering um, Everyone does cook fried rice with stock. You know, um, no, you don't. You don't. You don't really need it. Cooking fried rice without, you know, um, beef stock or chicken stock or anything. It's absolutely possible for you to make Nigerian fried rice without it, and that is why I have, you know, pre-seasoned the the rice, so it is tasty already. So you really do not have to wait for that day when when you when you have to um boil chicken or you don't have to wait for that in order for you to 
to eat fried rice now. You can have fried rice any time of the day, any time of the month, week. You know, it's preference. So once this is properly um, fried, what I will do is cook this out of the pan because you want to be adding this bit by bit in portions. You see, and and the rice is also ready. As you can see, 12 minutes and it's ready. So what you do is mix the rice all together. It's not a lot. And then you scoop some. And mix, mix, mix. There you have your fried rice without tears. You know how it's called most of my meals, you know, without tears because then um, you don't really have to stretch yourself simply because you want to have a particular, a particular kind of meal. You can always, always, you know, make something out of, you know, the little that you've got at home. Even if it's just carrot, green pepper, yellow pepper, you know, just simply you know just mix everything together and there you have it there you have it honestly you can do this in the frying pan you can do it in the pot but make sure you try to use a non-stick pot you see and there you have it and that is your fried rice already it's come out singly it's not yellow the oil isn't too much the seasoning isn't too much but always remember the seasoning is by choice preference you know whatever kind of seasoning you could use italian seasoning any kind of seasoning you want it does not necessarily need to be um korean time but because this is we're just trying to have the nigerian basic one is why i have um added um korean time usually i would have used you know italian spices you know or just korea you know anything um cinnamon and all that when i'm cooking i because i use a lot of um, healthy herbal spices in my food so and there we go your fried rice already yummy to eat thanks for watching thanks for being on my channel thanks for subscribing please if you have any comments please leave the comment down below and i will surely respond and also please do like share and subscribe thank you happy cooking bye till next time